Okay, so Thomas Kingston, Kate Middleton update, Prince William, and let's just get into this mess. Hey guys, it's Marab Maradi. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button, guys. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And head over to my TikTok. Head over to my Instagram at Murad underscore Murali. And let's get straight into this with a lot of stuff going on. Um, I don't know if this is true, but people are having conversations in regards to Thomas Kingston and are expressing that his Wikipedia page has basically disappeared and that it did exist, it's no longer there. People are having conversations about it on the app X and one user states how, you know, she or he was reading um, Thomas Kingston's Wikipedia page a couple of weeks ago, but the page has disappeared. Now, Wikipedia is something that anybody in the public can access, edit and use, but in terms of deletion, I'm not really sure in regards to that, but it is very odd to me that his Wikipedia page page, if it existed, has now been deleted and now his name is just part of his wife's Wikipedia page. It is very odd. The whole Thomas Kingston situation is odd. Everything about that situation is just weird to me. How he died, where his body is now, the funeral process, just the, the, everything was very quick about it as well. 24 to 72 hours and wrap it up and move on. It just all just seemed very bizarre, um, especially because his parents, you know, are they grieving? We don't know because it was seen at public places a couple of days afterwards. Um, not his parents, sorry, his in-laws. So I don't know about it, but his Wikipedia page being deleted is just odd. It could just be another further step to erase him. But why would there be so much effort? to erase him. Like, I just don't understand why that would be the case. I'm just very confused. Now, a story has gone absolutely viral, garnering over a million views on the UpX. Somebody obviously was discussing the fact that Carol Middleton was in some fatal car crash, that she was airlifted and etc. People were shocked, the royal family was shocked and etc. I am choosing to believe that this is fake news because there's no credibility in regards to this. A source called Birmingist or whatever has stated that a story had come out from Daily Express, but there is no story from Daily There is no story, sorry, from Daily Express. There's nothing. And so there's no proof. Um, granted, I haven't seen Carol Middleton, you know, since outside of that TMZ picture, which is quite odd, but I am choosing not to believe it. I do believe that it could be fake news. There's no proof. There's no pictures. There's no articles. There's no nothing going on. There's complete silence, which could mean two things. But as of right now, that is what I'm choosing to believe that choosing to believe that it is fake news and just not real. Um, because there would be more sources discussing it or talking about it or anything in some capacity. And I mean, even international press, but nobody would be like, nobody saying anything. There's no proof as well. Um, there's just absolutely nothing. So I'm just choosing not to believe it, but that has gone viral. Um, I believe it is fake and there's nothing to support or prove it. There's not one shred or ounce of evidence to suggest that this happened. So we should remain grounded when it comes to this and not just believe anything face value, because why are we choosing not to believe what the Royal family give us for face value? obviously because of their history, but then that doesn't mean that we should believe everything else for face value. Like, that's just how I see it. We need to remain grounded when it comes to these conversations. Now, it's also been reported that at the Duke and Duchess of Westminster's wedding, Prince William attended solo, which I discussed yesterday, but it's now been reported in an article that he did seem quite friendly with a woman. So this could just be a friendly conversation that he was having with her. It doesn't have to be anything other than just that. And I think that it's important for us to understand this, but Kate Middleton's absence was keenly felt as Prince William mingled with a lady at Westminster's wedding and you can see him there talking to a particular woman. Now that him, William talking to any woman and you know being you know fond of them or greeting them, being socially you know enjoying themselves with them does not necessarily mean that he is in a love relationship with them. He could just be talking to any woman and the press are just twisting it. Or it could mean otherwise that he has all this freedom now. There's always two sides to a story, two different faces that you can look at it and I think it's important that we do that when it comes to this conversation. But this is what they're stating that, you know, William Solo at these events, this isn't the first time that people are saying, oh, he's up and close with a woman as well. But I don't think William is that dumb. Maybe he is, but I don't think he's that dumb to be flirting with women publicly at events solo whilst Kate is absent. Like, I just don't think that he would do that. Um, I think that he would just do a, an affair, common knowledge, you would do it behind the scenes, especially if you're the king to be, you wouldn't be doing it, you know, right in front. But that is what an article is talking about today, and I just thought it was interesting. What I find to be interesting as well, that this week of the royals mess, I discussed with Camilla yesterday um, in regards to her royal protocols when it comes to the French um, um, French president's wife refusing to hold her hand and, you know, not showing in that moment of time when she could have just done that. To me, it is hilarious that, you know, if that was a royal protocol, that she was following that, but she wasn't following the royal protocols when it comes to cheating with a married man, King Charles, who was a prince then. 
and you know effing him whilst he was with Dinah. That was a royal protocol that you didn't care about. But suddenly now you're Miss Queenie of the world and you want to follow every protocol. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. But there aren't any protocols in France when it comes to rules like that anyway. So I don't even know what she was doing uh, to be honest with you and we shouldn't be focusing on that. But anyways, I discussed it yesterday and she's basically being dragged for filth all over online media that I've seen everywhere. People are just like, what the F is she doing? It's dramatic, it's unnecessary, garnering 10 million views. Basically bad PR, bad press, bad press, stuff that she doesn't need and it's just gone viral. I just think it's hilarious, it's funny. Cause you know that her people are probably running up some good stories of her to erase all of that. But one thing, one thing I just be loving when it comes to this royal mess that we are discussing guys, is that none of it includes Meghan Markle. Do you understand? She is chilling with her two Netflix commission produced shows that are coming with her husband, with her children in America, living a peaceful life, ain't involved in no damn royal business because you damn well know if she was still a working royal family, they'd still be ripping her to shreds. They're still ripping her to shreds regardless, but it will be even more, I believe, if she was still actively doing stuff. She didn't even come back to the UK. She stayed in the lounge when she was passing through to Nigeria. She wasn't even entertaining any of the BS here. And I'm absolutely loving it. Absolutely loving it. She said, this ain't my portion. Whatever the hell's going on with everybody else, I'm no longer involved. You lot tried me. I had patience. You lot tried me. I finally left because I was sick of your shit is basically what she was doing. And I'm absolutely here for it, for the fact that none of this mess includes her. None of this, none of this mess includes Meghan Markle. And I'm just absolutely loving that, guys. In the midst of Kate Middleton, whatever's going on with Kate, good or bad, Thomas Kingston, good or bad, Prince William, Charles, Camilla, Andrew, and the beef with the house. None of this includes Megan. None of this includes Megan. She said, I'm gonna pack my shit, live my good life, and I'm not gonna deal with any of the BS that you're throwing at me. And I'm here for it. Point blank period, guys. I'm here for it. Now, my earlier video, I ranted. So sorry, I just had such a shit 24 hours. Like, you know when back to back things are just going on that are just bad, 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 and you're like, oh my God, this just isn't my day. It was one of them ones, and I'm not gonna come sit here and produce news or relay news for you guys in a way if I'm pissed off. This is not Sky News, this is not Cable News Channel, this is Murad Murali's YouTube channel. And if I'm pissed off, if I'm frustrated, I'm just gonna let it out, guys, because we're, at the end of the day, we're all human beings. And I think what is relatable is just being yourself, as cringe as it is. So if I feel this type of way about something, I'm gonna say it from my chest, and that's just how I feel in the moment. And it is what it is. Like, I don't script shit on this channel, I just speak from my heart, I don't read anything. All the stories that I gave you today, I read earlier today and I'm reading it off by heart just you know in no particular order for example so that's why I was ranting and sometimes I don't know about you guys but I just I just love a good rant sometimes a rant is what you need because you're just so sick of the stupid world and all the pain and suffering that we're seeing 24 7 and it's just so irritating to see because nothing is being done by it and our governments are directly complicit and it's shameful. It's shameful, shameful, barbaric, shameful nonsense. Free Palestine all day, every day, point blank, period. 200 innocent people, I've, children, women are being killed. I've seen so many children again today. Like, why can't they live a full, healthy life as children? Why must they suffer? <sighs> Stress. Subscribe or comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Shout out also to the two people who sent me super thanks. A super thanks is a dollar sign there. You can send whatever you want. Somebody sent me $100 and somebody sent me $50. Now granted, YouTube takes a 30% cut, which is frustrating. And one thing I recently find out is that if you send a super thanks via Apple Pay on your phone, that Apple Pay also takes a 30% cut. So basically, I'm only getting 40% of whatever you're sending. But regardless, I'm thankful, I'm appreciative, and I thank those two people specifically. Those who, if they're watching this, may know who they are. The $100 one and the $50 one was like, it just puts a smile on my face when I get that notification. No matter what I'm getting from that, what cut I'm getting from it, I'm thankful. Really, I am. Subscribe and comment down below, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.